Hello students, welcome once again. And we have um differential equation over here, and we have to find the y dx. Now, before we go solving this question, if this is the first time on this channel, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime a new video is posted. Alright, so let's quickly start. Now we have the first part y equal to 5 minus 1 over x right so we have to find dy dx right we have to find dy dx now before we find dy dx this equation can be written in the form 5 minus then to the power negative 1 now we have this relation over here now in solving a relation like this we have a formula for that so let's take it for instance you have dy dx of a function like this so a to the power f of x and these should be equal to the same formula a to the power that then multiply by the lean the natural log of the base a then also multiplied by the differential of the exponent so this with this formula we are going to apply it here so having dy dx of these then we have um now a in this our a our a in this case over here over this part our a in this case is s and to the uh, the exponent is negative one so having something like this then we can um i might have missed this question this is to the power one over x sorry it is to the power so we have um, the whole of this to the power is to the power so we have um, the differential of just 5 minus x minus 1 so this is what we have sorry for that so this is what we have then so in differentiating this we have a to the power that so we have 5 to the power that right multiplied by the lean of the base so the lean natural log of 5 then multiplied by the differential of the exponent so when you differentiate the exponent what is going to happen is that negative 1 comes here then multiply this negative over here making it positive then you subtract 1 from the exponent so we have positive s to the power negative 2 right so with this we can um, write this as um, 5 maybe something like this five then let's say multiplied by one over s squared so you can leave your answer in this form so this is what we have for the a now let's look at um the other parts let's look at b so for b we have um b being equal to the whole of this multiplied by sine squared x so with this we expand right so we have lean of s to the power 4 then for log properties of log when they are multiplying then what do you do you add them right they are multiplying you add them in case the, the values over here is dividing then you subtract so since they are multiplying we add then we have lean of sine squared x then for properties of log the 4 to the power here goes here comes in front of the lean so we have 4 lean x same thing over here the 2 over here that causes and comes here so we have 2 lean sine x now another property another property is that we have the lean of let's say um f of x being equal to y which means that if you are differentiating y then we are having something like um, it will be 1 over the value there f of x then multiply by the into the differential of x so with this relation over here we're going to apply it in each case so we have y equal to 4 now dif 4 is a constant outside so differentiating lean x is basically applying this so we have 1 over x right multiplied by the differential of 
x right so the differential of x is just one then we have this, this part two outside then we can have the differential so we have one one over that so one over sine x then the differential of that so the differential uh, differentiating this is just if you differentiate cos sine you get cos so we have that so therefore we have 4 over x and let's say we have um, 2 cos x then divided by sine x so this is what we have so the differential differential of that so that is what we have for um b now let's look at um the last part so in the last part we have um y being equal to t to the power q then that right so we have something like this now with something like this for this part it will be easy for us to differentiate then over here we are going to apply the the power um differential rule so having something like this again we apply the same rule so if we have let's see the differential you are differentiating um e to the power f of x is basically the same equation multiplied by the lean of the base then multiplied by the differential of f of x so we are going to use this relation here so we have from um, differentiating this we have um, the three comes down then we subtract one from the exponent so three minus one is two and over here we apply this relation over here so it is equal to what a to the power that so three to the power t then multiply by lean of the base so the lean of three then multiplied by the differential of the exponent so differentiating t is just one so in all we have the differential of this being equal to 3t squared then minus 3t ln of 3 so we have something like this t to the power yeah so we have something like this so thank you very much once again and um i'll see you in another section if this is the first time please subscribe hi